everybody, welcome back to Dehaven Family Farm. My name's Chris, and we're in the shop here today. We got the uh, New Holland TC45 DA behind me, otherwise known as Little Blue. And we've got to fix a problem with the cruise control, and we're gonna go over that here today. So let's get started. So over the summer, the cruise control wasn't working on this tractor. Uh, this is a hydrostatic drive tractor, uh, which is what I wanted when I purchased it. Um, so when you're doing a lot of field work, just constant, steady field work where you're not changing direction, you know, your foot starts to get kind of tired. So the cruise control works nice for that. So basically on this tractor, there's a button right here and, uh, there's your foot pedal. So you hold your foot pe pedal down to the speed that you want. And then you just push this button down and it will hold the foot pedal in position. There's a magnet underneath and it holds the foot pedal in position and maintains the speed. Well, that wasn't working. So um, it really is a pretty simple system. Um, so there's only a few elements to the system. There's the magnet underneath that holds the foot pedal in position. There is this switch that activates the magnet. There is um, the power comes from the fuse panel. So there is a fuse. Uh, that, uh, like I said, you know, brings the power to the circuit. And the last part of this is there is a, uh, I guess you could call it a cutoff switch, which is what I'm stepping on right now. That's this guy, uh, to the brakes. So if you wanted to, uh, deactivate the cruise, basically, you know, tapping on the brakes or whatever, um, that's sort of what this switch here does. So those are the parts of the system. It's, it's a fairly simple system. Not a lot of things to go wrong. Um, if one of those parts of the system goes out, the system quits working. Um, if all of those elements are working and the system isn't working, then there's a problem with a wire somewhere, which gets more annoying. Uh, lucky for me, I found out that it was this switch that wasn't working. Uh, you know, through tracing down the different things, basically that's what we came to. So what I ended up doing, and I'll show you here in a minute, is I just put a jumper wire and bypassed the broken switch, and then I was able to use the cruise control through the, uh, the rest of the season, and then I got the switch here, and now I have time to change it. So um, that's what we're gonna go over with you today, but I just wanted to give you guys a quick rundown on kind of how that works and the different elements so that if you have one of these tractors and your cruise control stops working, those are the things that you wanna check. Um, and if you do have an owner's manual, uh, those uh, in the back of the owner's manual, there is a wiring diagram that walks you through those elements that we discussed, kind of where they're located and things like that. So, uh, you know, just kind of will help you out a little bit, but again, very basic system. So let's uh, step over the creepy crawly down here and uh, come on down, try not to blind you and make you dizzy. So this safety switch down here that I bypassed is, trying to hold things here. You can see it basically right in the center of the screen there. There are uh, four little prongs sticking out right there uh, that are bare. Um, those are supposed to be plugged into something. So, uh, and you can see the front of the switch there. So that is the switch right there that I bypassed. So uh, right now, that's what we need to take out. There are two Phillips head screws. So we're gonna take those two Phillips head screws out. And um, the plug for the, that uh, switch is actually up on top. And I'll show you that. That's where I put the jumper wire and then I zip tied it all up there. So let me get those screws out and then I'll kind of show you what I did here to bypass that. I do not recommend bypassing and um, you know, jumping switches, obviously it's a safety thing, so I don't recommend doing it, but uh, this was just a cruise control thing. It really isn't a, 
you know, it's not like a safety a seat safety switch or something like that. But still, I don't recommend doing it. Uh, anyway, let me uh, go ahead and grab a Phillips head screwdriver, take this apart, and I'll show you what it looks like. It's going to be kind of hard for me to set the camera up and show you me taking these screws out. But uh, I'll show you here when I'm done. All right, here is the old switch out of there. And... Uh, Let's see here. I guess there was, uh, I thought they were threaded in up there, but I guess there's a little nut that goes on the bolt. That's kind of fun. I thought it was threaded in the switch, whatever. Okay, so let's uh, open this new one up. Here is the part number, if anybody needs to get one of those. All right. Well, let's get that out of the way a second. This light is being disagreeable. This really is a pretty silly design here. I don't know how they expect you to hold this tiny little nut on the top side of this thing to get this started. Knock some of this dirt out of here quick. I really did think that the uh, something was threaded up there. Fun, fun, fun. Well, all right. Guess we got that one going. Where's the other one? Okay, let's see here. Let's see if we can get this one. I'm not sure if you guys can see anything or not. If not, I'll probably edit this out. Okay, so. Now, let me see. Can you guys see? Kind of, sort of. Let me bring you around here a second. Can you see underneath here what we got going on? Basically our switch here. So now we're gonna tighten up these two screws. And then uh, we have our wire here. And we'll bring him around and plug him in right there. So let me go ahead and do that and uh, show you when it's done. Okay. So I know the lighting isn't great, I'm sorry. Doing the best I can here, but here's our switch here all hooked up. And uh, if you listen quiet or closely here, you can hear a click. I'm gonna move the brake pedals. That's the click you wanna hear. That's me pushing on the pedal. So basically, when the pedal is pushed down and the brakes are engaged, it clicks and it will not let the cruise come on. And when the brakes are back, it's going to click again and it will let the cruise come on. So our switch is all plugged in and uh, she's all done. All right, guys, that wraps up this short video here on uh, kind of fixing the cruise control on Little Blue. Uh, again, I'm not a professional mechanic. I try and tell you guys <laughs> up front in all my uh, little repair videos here. But uh, if you have any questions about the repair or the tractor itself, I do my best to answer any questions I can for you guys. Uh, hope the video was informative. Hope you enjoyed. Any questions, comments down below, please hit the subscribe button. Don't forget the bell icon. The bell icon notifies you of uh, all the upcoming videos. Uh, even if you don't enjoy watching every single video, that's fine. But uh, what I have found has happened uh, even on the channels that I try and keep up with. Uh, you guys that uh, post videos and maybe get busy and then uh, don't post for a while and then you start posting again, you know, I don't see your videos anymore. Um, so 
you uh for for even people like me you guys got to hit that bell icon even if you don't watch the video that way you you see that i post the video and if you don't want to watch it that's fine maybe wait for a video to come up uh that you do like uh no problem there but just hit that bell icon hit that thumbs up for me please i really appreciate that um and uh hey thanks for watching hope to see you guys on the next video